Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. So, I want to do a quick review of my, um, my Lume came yesterday. I finally got it. Um, I finally ordered it. I ordered it a week ago, like, not even a week, a few days ago. Maybe Thursday or Friday, and it got here yesterday. Um, and I had a doctor's appointment yesterday, so I was, and I was rushing. And, um, so I just put quick swipe, quick swipe, and then, um... I put this down here under my um, apron um, or stomach. And all the big girls know what I'm talking about. <laughs> under my stomach. So, um, it really does hold up. It really does last, like, this morning around 10-ish. Um, before my shower and everything. Like, I was like, let me see if this is still working and everything. And it, I didn't smell anything. And usually around that time... Or, like, especially with the heat and the sweating, it's even hot inside and stuff, you start to get the, you know, it's time for a shower kind of thing going. So, that hadn't even happened yet. And so, there is something in it that is, you know, does stop the odor. Because they put some kind of ingredient that it blocks the um, odor causing bacteria. And you don't get that scent that you would get typically from sweating and all that. Um... Yesterday, I was just out about after my doctor's appointment. I was walking around. I was like, I left my car somewhere, like in the store. So I had to rush back and forth between stores. And I all this sweating and everything, just walking around. Um, body temperature so high and everything. Um, I shockingly was surprised that it hadn't worn off. Because I've used, like I said, I use natural deodorants in general because I have the hydrosopoda. Um... So I'm used to the game of it. I'm used to sweating off and it not, um, you have, I have never really had to reapply them, but in these hotter days and all that, I have had, I have noticed that they don't last as long, um, cause the sweat and everything, and you know, they don't withstand it. They don't have that key ingredient, aluminum in it. So I have been noticing on those, I started using my crystal stone, which is one of these. I don't know where my bigger ones are right now. Um, <laughs> You can get these, this is a trial size, but you can get these at, like, I got this at Grocery Outlet, but, um, it's a crystal stone, and you just wet them up, and then, these are the only things, besides this Lume stuff, that, um, haven't failed me in this kind of weather, like, in this heat, you know, because I sweat in general a lot, I don't have no condition for sweating a lot, but, some people just sweat a lot, um, in general, just, you know, due to size, or hormones, or whatever, so... Um, anyway, so, okay, I was surprised that after all that sweating, walking around, hustling around, everything, getting here, getting all the stuff out and all that, um, that it had not worn off, you know, or sweated off. And so today, like I said, I woke up, it still smelled like, you know, I, it, I didn't have to take a shower. I ended up taking a shower like an hour or two later because I had to, you know, get ready to go and stuff, but... I I was surprised that it did last. It does last. I didn't... I'm not going to test out no 72 hours because I bathe every day. So, I'm not going to do no... I don't... I know some people don't bathe every day. They feel like they don't need to or whatever. I personally do. So, I'm not going to, like, even test that out. But it did last until late mo uh, morning. I don't know how much longer I could have went because I showered before I really needed to. But, um, it does last. And, um... Now, it doesn't really matter which scent you get. I got the Clean Tangerine and Sweet Lily. It doesn't really matter. Um, even though I will say this, like, while, as I was walking around, like, to the doctor and everything, this was, like, um, smelling to me like orange blossoms. Like, and I love that scent. That's, like, my favorite scent ever is orange blossom. Like, you're walking around during spring or whatever, and, like, around here, there's a lot. Of, I think this was an orange grove way back in the day, because, like, there's, every other house has, like, oranges or lemon trees or some kind of citrus. So, you smell it really heavy over here, and, um, so, it smelled like, it reminded me of orange blossoms or, like, sweet orange or something. So, um, I did really like that, even though I could smell the infamous funk that they have ingredient that's causing a funk in this there's an there's a scent that when you open it 
Ugh. It doesn't smell that great. It's like, I don't know what the ingredient is, um, but there's something in it that, um, is kind of funky, and you have to wait for it to kind of wear away before, um, you know, you, or you might be a little self-conscious about that, in my opinion. Like, I don't know if anyone else meant it, like, when I was getting my blood pressure yesterday, like, I was kind of like, oh, I hope he doesn't, <laughs> I was like. Because I had put it on and I was brushing, right? So I didn't even wait for it to see if it wears off. But it wouldn't wear off that quick anyway. Because even right now, I've had this on since around 12-ish, I think. And let me see. I still kind of smell it faintly. There's a scent. And I don't know what they're putting in it. But that's... Uh, they get it. They have a lot of people like criticizing it on their like, Facebooks and everything. Because... Yeah, a lot of people can't get past that scent, and um, it takes a while for it to kind of fade away. It's like you have to wait through. It's kind of like I compare it to like when you put like nair on or something, and you gotta wait and go through like sitting there with all over your face or your body, and then to get to the reward of, like getting a smooth face or smooth, smooth legs or whatever, you know. That's what I like it to, and then plus Nair has that funky odor. It's like that to an extent, so I don't know. It depends on your own threshold of, like, scent odors and stuff, but, um, so, I will say that I, yeah, I do like it, like, as far as I feel, and it does work, like, the reviews are true, it does last, and it would stand a lot, because yesterday it was, like, 90 degrees, and, like, it, um withstood all that plus my usual just sweating in general so i was really pleasantly surprised when i woke up today i was like it's not you know because a lot of the natural joints they will like oh i'm never getting this, this product again but it's called Thai stone spray that stuff wears off quick especially in this type of weather like typically typically you probably wouldn't um like sprouts has like their own version of that kind of spray too Typically, it would not wear off that quick, but in the, in the heat, it does not hold up, and it doesn't, like, if you can't depend on it during these times, then when, you know, you need something you can depend on, so I like the fact that it withstood all the, you know, elements yesterday, and everything I was doing just hustling around, um, and I think once you get past that scent that is in it, to, I think it's the, it's probably the product that's causing the odor, um, odor killing bacteria uh, thing because I don't think they would put something funky smelling in a product knowing that people are going to be turned off by it unless there was a reason you know so I don't know but Lume if my only criticism besides the, that little funky odor at first is the price now the bundle i got the bundle so i got a stick and a tube and it was all together with taxes and everything 30 dollars free shipping um i feel like because it does with it would it does withstand the heat and sweating and everything so i do feel like it is a really good product but it's not like the only um natural deodorant that does that i've used enough in my like just dealing with hydrosopoveda to know what can work and what doesn't, you know, or what can work equally as good. And that's why I had this out, um, these stones. Now, these stones, the only difference is that you're not going to get a scent, you're not going to get um, any smell or anything, but they do last a whole day. Like, they do last. Um, they're better than these other ones, like, you know, the roll-ons and all that you, you see at Sprouts and Whole Foods and stuff, they last, you know? Um, and they're more budget-friendly than Lumen. Um, so, I I don't know. Like, I'm torn because I do want to try the Jasmine Rose. I may end up, um, I don't know. I may end up getting it just because I do like it. I do like that it did last. And I can only imagine, like, during the winter and the fall what it's going to do because you're not sweating as much then. I mean, I still do, but not as much. <laughs> so I am going to try those two, two more of those. 
But I don't know, you guys. I just feel like because the cost and that scent, I just feel like for that cost, they should have done a little more with the scent. That that funky odor, you know, that's that funky um, ingredient that's in it. Um, I just feel like if it didn't have that, it would be worth it. It would be like a game changer, you know. But um, um, so and also, it doesn't matter what scent you get either because. Um, the scent does last, like, this smelled like oranges for, like, hours yesterday. I will say that. It smelled like fresh oranges. But, um, but it didn't really matter, really, because after a while, it's just like the Thai Stone. It goes, you know, it just starts, it just goes to, like, where it's just clean smelling skin. It doesn't smell like, um, like, it, like, regular deodorant smell like powder and all that. It doesn't smell like that. It just kind of, like, fades away. So they don't really need to put a scent, you know? Um, so... I will say, yeah, I do like it. I just feel like I, just, I think it should be a little cheaper. Um, especially considering what you have to deal with initially. Because, like, what if you were all hugged up with somebody and they're like, you know, like, you don't want to... I wouldn't feel confident at first if somebody came up and hugged me. And I don't care who it is. It could be a guy, a friend, whoever. Like, if someone came up and was hugging on me and stuff, I wouldn't feel confident. Like, I would know he would smell it. So I would be like... I would just be like, wait, don't hug me for like two hours. <laughs> so that's the only thing. But then the next morning, once it's all like dissipated, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. So like I said, but it does hold up. It does work, like they say. Um, And I, like I said, I swear a lot. I'm a big girl, so I can speak on this. Because when I see it, like a lot of skinny girls saying they do it. I'm not, I don't have anything against skinny people, but I'm just saying. I, I wouldn't feel confident just hearing from them because it we have a different situation. So I when I see like bigger women saying it, I'm like, okay, because I know what we deal with, you know. We have more that we got to kind of keep fresh. So, yeah, you put it under your apron, put it under your arms, put it under your boobs, put it wherever. Um, I'm not going to say the words that they do on Lumet's <laughs> But, yeah, put it, you know, down south, everywhere, and you just feel fresh. You don't feel that that sweat induced funk, you know? So I do like it for that. But I just feel like they need to come down on the price point and I feel like they need to do something with that scent. Hopefully they kinda develop it a little more over the years. I feel like they need I feel like they should be able to because these natural deodorants, they have their flaws too, don't get me wrong. Especially the ones that use baking soda, because that's irritating to a lot of people under the arms. Um, but they don't get like that, and they've come a long way, and I feel like as far as natural deodorants have come, they shouldn't have that funky odor, that funky whatever that's in it, you know? I just feel like you're paying too much for that, you know? So, yeah, because of that, I give it a low eight, just because it does hold up in the sweaty months, it does, it does hold up, it does do its job, I didn't have to reapply or anything, um... But if I was just going with a budget friendly like thing, I probably would do the stone instead. But if I was just like, you know, let me try this out or let me splurge, okay, let me, you know. So yeah, you guys, I think you should try it for yourself though. I did. I heard so many good, bad, and ugly. My friend told me coconut crust is disgusting. She's not trying it again. She followed all the rules. She's like, I'm not trying it again. <laughs> so yeah, um, try it for yourself. See what you like it if you don't or whatever. Um, but yeah, to me it worked, and, um, so, uh, I just wanted to update you guys and give you a real honest review of the product and what I feel about it. Okay, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Bye! Stay fresh, stay cool, stay hydrated. Bye!